We're going to play a game here, right? Um, where um, I ask all the comedians before taking the stage how many inches. And he said 7.5. And after he does the set, when I come back up again, I'm going to ask you if you guys agree with that, all right? <laughs> so without further ado, we're, let's give it up for Felix McCurry of 7.5. I've actually been doing comedy for 40 years, and I've been gay for 73. <laughs> I'm supposed to clap there, this generation. <laughs> you know, these gay kids today, they have it really easy. When I was born, being gay was a mental illness. <laughs> Nowadays, you're born gay, it's like you have a superpower or something. <laughs> Which actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, those superheroes are all huge queens, aren't they? <laughs> Capes and their daddy issues? I mean, get over it, Batman. You're being a drama queen. <laughs> These kids today have it easy, I'm telling you. When I went to high school, it was a nightmare. I mean, I was on the basketball team. That was actually pretty good, don't laugh at that. But one time I got fouled really hard and I let my effeminate voice slip out. I was like, ow, you fucking slut! The whole game stopped. Until I just went, I mean, uh, fuck you, faggot! Then my whole team ran over and slapped me on the ass and said, Yeah, you tell them. <laughs> Dunk it in their face. It was weird. I don't know. High school was a nightmare. <laughs> but these gay kids today have it easy. Every gay kid, like, has a big coming out party. I don't get that. When I was gay, we didn't have to have a big coming out event. Because we didn't care. That wasn't anyone's business. Nowadays, you invite the whole family over. It reminds me of when LeBron James had that whole big decision. You know, it's like, get over yourself. We don't need a whole ceremony to find out what team you play for. Gay <laughs> oh. kids today have it easy. You can turn on the TV and you can see a bunch of gay celebrities, you know, like, turn on the TV, you'll see Ellen DeGeneres or... Neil Patrick Harris, or Frank Ocean, or Anderson Cooper, you know, I, I didn't have those gay celebrities to look up to as a kid. These kids have it easy. Well, I mean, I, I had a couple, you know, there was like Rock Hudson, and Liberace, and Elton <laughs> John, and Marlon Brando, and... <laughs> all right, there was a few, all right. But these kids still have it easy, that's what I'm saying. They have it so easy that they actually have apps on their phone today that you can just find gay boys around you wherever you are. <laughs> it's a real thing these kids have. There's an app called Grinder, and you just push a button and you can find any fetish or category you can think of. These kids have it easy. When I was growing up, I used to have to wear a handkerchief. That was the best thing I had. If it was on the left, I was a top. If it was on the right, I was a bottom. Baby blue means something I don't want to let you guys know right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the best I had. And with my luck, I used to always find a guy with a brown handkerchief. <laughs> no thanks. These kids have it easy. And you know what? That's a, this is a whole new thing, all these different categories. When I was coming up and being gay, you were either gay or not gay. That was it. Well, actually, I guess there was bisexual, but come on. Bi now, gay later, I mean. Sure. There's a new gay 
category of, you know? There's, there's tops, there's bottoms, there's pitchers, there's catchers, there's versatiles, there's lipsticks, there's twinks, there's twunks, there's otters and cubs and bears, oh my! <laughs> I am a friend of Dorothy's, by the way. <laughs> but these kids have it easy, that's what I'm saying. It's like cool to be gay now, you know? It's like, I can't even tell who's gay or straight anymore. You ever have, like, a gay guy, oh, I'm sorry, you ever have a straight man get all mad at you because you hit on him? You know, I was flirting with this one fella, and he was like, hey, whoa, dude, I'm not gay. And I was like, well, excuse me, uh, but you're the one wearing the Salvatore Ferragamo boots. <laughs> <laughs> and those assless chaps are really confusing me. <laughs> These kids have it easy today, that's what I'm saying. But if you ask me, guys, these kids still don't have it easy enough. And it's the fact that these Kids have it so easy that it puts a smile on this old man's face. <laughs> so keep up the good work, kids. Thank you very much. <laughs>